Welcome to Eloquent 101, a new screencast series I'm doing for the Eloquent ORM out of Laravel. What you're going to get is you're going to be able to download this website that you're looking at at eloquent101.com. And I'm hoping that provides a source that you can look at the queries that are performed using eloquent models. And then you can also play with it locally and make changes or adjust things as you, as you want. Uh, but it also provides you the ability to watch the uh, YouTube videos right there locally if you want or uh, you know whatever you want to do. Uh, so this, this one right here, this episode is about setting up your local environment. Uh, I use L or Laravel Valet, which is a you know server that runs locally on my Mac. I think it's available now for Windows, um, but you know any server you have that you're, you're working with locally should work without much problem. So to get started, you need to check out this repo, which will be linked in the description, it is uh, Eloquent 101 on my GitHub. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy the link. We're going to go to our terminal and we're gonna clone that repo into a directory. So that, as that clones down, uh, it should only take a second, we will hop into that uh, directory and we will install uh, the dependencies that you know Laravel needs in order to, to run. Uh, so then once that's done, we're gonna open this in an editor and we'll need to set up a database for our, uh, our application to interact with. So I recommend creating a database, call it Eloquent 101. Then you're gonna to need to go into your user, uh, provide the user. I've already done this on a previous screencast, so that's why it's already been given permissions. But normally these are over on the right side and you just need to give them, you need to grant them. So you need to move them over here for Eloquent 101 with the root user and then apply that and you should be good to go. Uh, then you need to come into your .env file uh, which I guess this has not been made. So we need to um, copy the in example to the .env, and then we should have our .env here. Uh, it's gonna, that's gonna stay the same, that'll stay the same. The database that we're looking at, we named it Eloquent 101. The user that we're using is root, and locally this doesn't have a password for me, so uh, that's all we need to provide there. Then uh, we need to <coughs> set up the database. And so in order to do that, we need to do PHP artisan migrate. And that's gonna look in our migrations and run those and add all the tables to our database, which we can verify in SQL Pro. Now we have all of these that, you know, they're all empty right now, but uh, we have all the tables. So then we need to run the P, uh, PHP artisan uh, DB colon seed. And that's going to seed our database with a whole bunch of uh, data from the Sequila database that I've uh, tweaked to kind of form, to conform more to how Laravel kind of does it or how it wants things, the convention it wants in order to work pretty well. Uh, so as you can see now, we have all this data in here. Uh, and if you're using Valet, then you should be able to uh, check out the site. Oh, looks like I forgot to create a uh, encryption key. So I need to add that to the, uh, steps all right and then now we have the site running locally which right now looks pretty much identical to the one on the on the actual website uh which i guess it kind of always will but anyway that's a real quick of how to get it this installed and set up uh if you don't use sql pro you're gonna have to figure out some other way to set up your database uh, you know create it add the user you could just do it with the mysql uh cli um but you know sql pro is pretty handy and I already have it set up for valet so I find it pretty easy to use. Uh, so anyway, I'll need to add the uh, detail about adding the key generate and moving the, or copying the ENV file. And then I'll add that to the get started and then I'll publish this video. And then this will be, this YouTube video will be in your, um, like when you pull down the new copy, you will have the uh, video linked automatically on the getting started uh, page, which currently it is not. So anyway, uh, hope you guys are interested in this and I will hopefully be trying to keep myself to a schedule at a minimum. I hope to get out at least one episode a week. 
All right. Thanks for watching.